Friday night. Hallelujah. We getting ready to rumble tonight. Yes, Listen, the enemy, we, you're not just going to have him on the run. He's about to be under your feet on tonight. Uh, tonight, we're going to look at Matthew's 16th chapter, beginning at verses 13, and we're going to uh, stop at verse 18. Matthew's 16th chapter, uh, beginning at verse 13, and we're going to end at verse 18. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am? And then some say, Thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, some say Jeremiah, and one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say that I am? And Simon Peter, you know that's Simon Peter, he always has something to say. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, Christo, the anointed one, the Son of God, of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are thou, son, son Simon born of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Tonight, uh, my brothers and sisters, I want to talk about the church. What is the church, because listen, there's been a, a wrong misconception about what is the church and who is the church. Listen, let me help you out. First of all, the church is not black. Oh, I know you think it's so. I think it's good, but you know, it ain't black. Let, let me help you out. The church is not white. I, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit some people hard. The church is not the church of God in Christ. Oh, I might get some hate mail like that. The church is not Baptist. <laughs> The church is not Catholic. Oh, the church is not uh, Seventh Day Adventists. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess some people out. Listen, the church is not speaking in tongues. Yeah, yeah, I know some people. L listen, the church is not just singing. Uh, the, the the church. Let, let me help you out. The church is not uh, pews. The church is not uh, the deacon board. Well, I know some of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The church is not your usher board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The church is called the ecclesia. Amen. Uh, that means, listen, that's people who've been called out of darkness into his moment's life. We are the church. Yes, Lord. Believers, the, the, those who accepted Jesus as their personal savior. He was talking to Peter. He said, listen, the reason why he was talking to Peter, because in that place, Caesarea Philippi, uh, there was a lot of Gentiles. And, and they didn't understand or get a clear understanding about what the church was, because people today have that same uh, misconception about what is the church and who is the church. You know, because it's like, listen, uh, uh, the church, you know, we meeting, we meeting at the house of healing. That's the church. So if it's burned down, what are we going to do? <laughs> if, the, if, if the building burned down, I mean the church burned down? No, no, no. We are the church. He told Peter this. He said, listen, Peter, upon this, I'm going to build my rock. Not Peter, but on the revelation that Peter had. Amen. See, listen, the Amen. word Peter, now he said, listen, Peter, the word Peter is a Greek word called Petros. That means, listen, he said, Peter, first of all, he called him Simon Peter. I want you to get that first. He called him Simon Peter. First of all, that word Simon means shaky. <laughs> mean, mean, wavering. Because, you know, Peter, Peter was shaky. He was wavering. And, and he want Peter not to get so boastful and think, you know, I, look what I came up. Look what I came up with. He said, flesh and blood did not reveal this. That's right. That's right. He said, it was revealed by my Father, which is in heaven. See, today, too many people got a lot of information. Yeah. Today, a lot of people got a whole lot of inspiration, yeah, but they don't have no revelation. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Listen, let me help y'all. Listen, information without revelation becomes frustration. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Information without revelation becomes frustration. Oh, but listen, when you have information with revelation, or it becomes manifestation. Come on, boy. See, today, uh, uh, we God, God, He allowed this to happen, so now the church can be the church. So listen, the church should speak in tongues because we're the church. The church should be the same because we are the church. We, we've been called out to be called back That's into. Right. That's right. Oh man, man, man. 
Listen, right. he called us out of darkness to call us back into darkness. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. He called us out of darkness to call us back into darkness. He said, listen, Peter, you are a small rock. That's the word Petra. You, you're the small rock. Don't get a big head. He said, but upon your revelation of who I am, which is Petros, mean unshakable. See, today, a lot of people is not built on Christ. Come on, come on. They built on what their bishop say. Come on, bro. Oh, my goodness. Come on. They built on their title. But he said, listen, if you build on this revelation of who I am, he said, the gates of hell. To not prevail against you. Listen, that word hell is two things mean Hades. Listen, that don't have no power over me. Because I already died. <laughs> you can't kill a dead man. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, <sighs> see, we got to understand that the church, first of all, the church is mobile. Because you're the church. When you show up, the church has just shown up. There's no way you could be in a place where all hell breaking lo loose and you show up and hell still be breaking loose. Mm -hmm. You should manifest the kingdom. Well, now I'm going to listen. When you show up, if hell was breaking loose, when you show up, people say, oh man, the kingdom has just showed up. The church has just showed up. Right. The church is mobile. We are the church. So when we show up, if that was if that was doubt, faith should be there now. That's right. That's right. Because look what he told the church. He said, I occupy until I come. <laughs> he told them to occupy. Listen, we need to be taking territory. We, we are not in a retreat mode. We, we, listen, you, 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 let me tell you how powerful the church is. If you show up, you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost with you. So when you show up, guess what? You're able to manifest what you need to manifest is the church. Look what he told him. Look what he said. He said, Blessed are thou, Simon Boy Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I, and I say unto thee, thou art Peter. Look, now it went from being Simon to Peter. See, when you get a real revelation of who God is, you're no longer shaky. He changed his name from Simon to Peter and said, listen, now, now you know who you are and whose you are. Now, Simon Peter, now you can do what I've called you to do, to take territory. That believers, listen, it was good what happened that happened. Now it's time for us as believers now it's time for us to be in the body of Christ. Now it's time for us to be kingdom-minded people to let the church be the church. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, that means you need to be, you need to be manifesting peace. If that means, look what he told the church. He said, you're going to lay hands on the sick and it shall recover. Yes, Lord. See, now it's time for, it's time for us to be in the hospital. You know, we always be sending, we send God to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he 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 called us to go. We sent him, we sent him like he's an errand boy. He told us to go lay hands on the sick. He told us to go listen, speak to demons. He told us listen, and, and, and we had this conversation. I'm glad we had this conversation with John. Listen, uh, we saw earlier. Let me tell you something. We're the bind the spirits. We can't bind the devil. Come on, bro. Oh, my goodness. Come on. You can bind the spirits that operate. That's why you got to have revelation. See, the enemy don't want you to have revelation. Because when you have revelation, when you don't have revelation revelation of who you are, you mm -hmm. easily misled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you, you easily be bamboo or hoodwink. But when you have revelation of who you are mm -hmm. and whose you are, and who's in you? Amen. Man, Amen. can nobody stop you? Amen. No, not no devil in hell, not no sickness, not Amen. no diseases. That's the reason why the young lady asked us to say, how y'all not wearing masks? Because we know who we are. Listen, the church don't catch a cold. <laughs> the church don't catch COVID. Oh, he may man. attack my body, but he can't attack my spirit. Amen. See, we got to understand, believers, listen. 
We are the church of the living God. Mm -hmm. And whatever my daddy do, I can do. Whatever my daddy manifested, Amen. I can manifest. Amen. Look, look what he said. I wrap it up with verse, like verse 19. He said, and I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom. Oh my goodness, let me tell you something. Uh, two things about these keys. Listen, the church needs to understand. First of all, the keys represent the keys represent power. Amen. Oh my goodness. The Amen. keys represent power. Let me, let me tell you. And you got to have the right keys. <laughs> and and, and, and the keys here, I have I have uh, keys for infinity. If I go and try to make this work with a Mercedes, it ain't gonna work. Some of us are using the wrong key in the kingdom at the church. Listen, what, what, what you saying? What you saying, man of God? Let me tell you something. If, if the enemy attacking my family, I need to find the key to operate so I can bind him, the spirits that attacking my family. If, if I'm dealing with a sickness, I need to make sure I deal with the, the right key that he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquity. The test time of our peace was on him, and by his stripes, I'm not trying to be here, I'm already here. Amen. I'm just waiting for the manifest. In the natural, it already manifests in the spirit, I'm waiting for the manifest, guess what, in the natural. So we got to understand, first of all, the keys give us what? They give us power. But not only does it give us power to be the kingdom, we have now authority. See, ain't nothing like having authority. When you have authority, that means things now are subject to you and you're not subject to it. Amen. Oh, my goodness. I'm saying it. When you have authority, that means, guess Amen. what? You're not subject to the things, now the things are subject to you. Listen, I'm, I don't need to bow before no angel. An angel is subject to me. Oh, all right, let me help you out. The Bible said, don't you know we're going to judge the angels? That's right. Right. Don't you know he said we've been made a little lower than the angels? Now, he ain't talking about the angelical being. He's talking about Elohim, who is God. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's so, right. so we got to understand, listen, we got authority. Do you think, you, See, you just, just, uh, as crazy you. as Trump is, he knew he got authority. That's and right. the believers walking around, we running from the devil, and we need to be having the devil running from us. Come on, boy. Right. I ain't Come running on. from no COVID. I ain't running from no devil. I ain't running from this no crap together. They're going to run from me. Because I have, guess what? Power and authority. Amen. I'm going to say that again. Exactly. I got power and authority. And when you know you got authority, let me tell you something. You can tell when somebody got authority. When they show up, guess what? Everything change. Everything shift. That's Everything right. move. That's right. That's but when right. you don't understand that you have a power and authority, you let things move you and shift you instead of you shifting stuff and moving stuff. Listen, the church is mobile. Now it's time for us to come out of our houses. It's time for the church to come out the closet. Everybody that came out the closet, it's time for the church to come out the closet. Come on, come on. Get ready to rumble. Come out the closet, church. We got power and authority. Amen. That means, listen, you need to start locking some stuff up. You need to start oh, using some stuff. Use them you got to go in your house and say, listen, little John acting crazy, I bind that spirit, that disobedient spirit in the name of Jesus now, Amen. and I lose peace. Amen. I, and Amen. listen, you got to understand because, listen, he said the words I speak to you are spirit and life. That's the reason why it, it, when you understand that you're a church, you just can't release anything. You can't call your kids stupid because that's what they're going to act stupid. That's right. Come on, boy. I tell the truth. You can't say, well, you know, the tell devil the got me tired. Guess what? The devil going to make sure he got you tired. That's right. When you That's say, right. well, the devil is wrecking my house, guess what? He's going to wreck your house. You got to tell the devil, get the hell out of my house. <laughs> oh, that's how you got to talk to him. That's how you got to curse him. Listen, little Johnny cursing, and you ain't got no power to make him stop. Little <laughs> Johnny. But you got to understand who you are. Listen, he told him, he said, listen, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of Hades and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. He said, then I give you the keys to the kingdom. Listen, we got to start using our keys. You got to start using Find whatever scripture that you need and start using it. Listen, if you're in light, go to Philippians. But my God shall supply oh. all of my needs according oh. to his riches and glory oh. by, guess what, Christ Jesus. That's right. 
You got to find, listen, you got to find that key and you got to use it. And if you don't, listen, if you don't use the right key, you can unlock what God has for you. That's the reason why you have to understand, believers, listen, we are the church. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody trick you. We, we are the church. Now it's time for us to come out of the closet and be the church. We're supposed to be, listen, we're supposed to be in every government offices, school system. Because listen, whatever you don't touch, you can't infect. All right. All right. Let me say it again. Right. Whatever you don't, whatever you don't right. touch, you can't infect. All right. We're supposed to be in the government. There's no such thing as between separated, separation of church and state. See, that comes from Plato. Plato tells him, this is spiritual. The Bible says, everything you do, you do as unto the Lord. Right. Everything. That's right. We are the church. He said the church, as I close, he said, we are the salt of the earth. Mm. Now let me tell you something about, 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 about stuff being good, taste, taste, tasting good. I love Ray B. I love Ray B. I love Ray B. Don't bring me no blue runners. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring me no red beans that you ain't put no flavor in it. <laughs> see, see, listen. We are the salt. You know, salt preserves stuff. Salt uh, 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 makes stuff taste good. Uh, uh. So he said, we are the salt of the earth. And then, listen, we're not no little light. It was saying, I had to change it and say, this little light of mine. I said, no, this big light of mine. <laughs> we are the light of the world. The co-host. We, we are the light. So listen, believers. You ain't got to be arrogant. Walk up with your head up high. Know who you are. Use your authority. Use your power. And let's be the church. Again, let's be the church. Let's get